Hey everyone, I'm Steve from GamersNexus.net and today we're doing a subjective noise comparison of the AMD FX8370's Wraith CPU cooler, which is brand new, and we're comparing that against the old stock cooler that it is sort of replacing or shipping alongside. So the deal here, quick recap, the Wraith is $10 more than the non-Wraith cooled FX8370. The Wraith took the place of the 8370, so the price is the same, it's still 200 bucks for the CPU and the Wraith but the old one dropped $10. So the main difference between these two, the old cooler runs maximally at about 52-52 RPM, so 5,000 RPM plus, and the new Wraith runs at about 3,000 RPM. What happens here is because the Wraith has 24% more surface area to dissipate the heat through alloy and copper and through a larger, better spec fan, it's able to sustain similar or slightly better thermals than the old cooler, as you'll see in our charts here, and we have the full review already on the channel if you wanna see more about these thermal charts. So it's able to retain these temperatures at a significantly lower noise output because of this improved cooler. And none of this, just quick disclaimer, is talking about the viability of the processor itself. We're strictly looking at the coolers and the technology in them and the noise levels today. What we've got for you here is a hookup of the two coolers to a power supply directly and they're operating at a hundred percent speed so this is full rpm and this is what we use for our thermal testing for many reasons detailed in the thermal articles mostly test methodology reasons so even if you're using in the real world maybe an auto setting this gives you an idea of what the max 100 percent fan speed is i'll give you a listen and then i'll explain the setup so the first cooler is the original stock cooler the second one is the amd fx 8370s wraith that just came out So a few things to note here. First of all, obviously the Wraith is a lot quieter. Secondly, the Wraith is a much more tolerable tone. The old cooler had sort of a higher pitched frequency when it was operating, and that's partly because of the high RPMs and the bearings and things like that. The new one is more of a mid-tone output, so that's more in line with what you get in normal case fans, and because it's not producing some sort of weird outlier noise, or frequency, I should say, it's a lot more tolerable to the end user. Second thing is this is not an objective noise level measurement. I'm not presenting decibel values because we don't have an anechoic chamber or anything remotely close to that to test in. So what you're listening to or what you listen to is strictly a subjective measurement using our high-end $400 H6N professional studio recording mic and we hook that up to a couple of different microphones, shotgun mic, reporter mic, things like that to just collect different noise levels from around the room and then we put in the one that we thought best demonstrated the comparison between the two. The scenario for measuring the noise for operating the fan was identical for both coolers. So these are 100% identical. Noise levels were input to the recorder at an identical setting. The tripod was an identical distance from each cooler in each test. So you can know that these were conducted under very perfectly matched test configuration settings. And that means that you can make the subjective comparison without any sort of odd variables that may have changed in the test setup because there were none. So that is all for the noise comparison of the two coolers. Hopefully that helps anyone out there trying to decide if it's worth buying the Wraith. Check our review on the channel for more information on the Wraith cooler. And again, Patreon link in the post roll video if you want to help us out directly. Subscribe as always. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time.